How's it going guys? Steve Martin here. I'm really excited today. It's been snowing in the mountains. My new snowmobile is here. So I'm going to put it together and go ride it. Follow along. The belt comes with the vehicle separately, meaning it's not installed. And He's got a light coat of a corrosion inhibitor and we want to get those off the clutch sheaves. So I just use some isopropyl alcohol and a nice clean rag and I clean the clutch sheaves so we don't get any of that corrosion inhibitor on the new belt. This thing is assembled and ready to rock. The only thing I did to it is I installed a shorter riser. It comes stock with a 4.7 inch riser, which I think is great for the average guy, but I'm a foot short for my age, so I went quite a bit shorter. It comes out of the crate in the precision position on the adjustable limiter strap. I moved it to the agile position right away, and that's where it'll stay about 90% of the time, unless I'm in really technical terrain. I'm excited to get some break-in miles on this thing. We've about three feet of snow up there. Let's go check it out. Awesome. All right, we're on the snow now. This is day four on the new Expert. We have about three feet of snow up here, which is really good for this time of year, but still not quite enough to get off the trail. There are truck-sized rocks up here, so it's going to take another big storm to cover everything up before we can really get after it. But it's a good opportunity to get back behind the bars, get some break-in miles. One really cool thing this year is the break-in period is significantly shorter than previously. Previously, they used more oil during the break-in period. Now they're going to use more gas and oil, and I believe it's around 90 liters, but it's about 24 gallons of gas needs to go through the snowmobile in order for it to be a full break-in and all the power. So let's go hammer some campground roads and have some fun. This is the field I come to at the beginning of the year when 
I post a September picture, it's right here. As you can see, I've been up here for a few days behind me. I tracked it out. It's a good little spot. It's been some donuts. I don't have to worry about hitting a rock and wiping the front end off my new sled, because I've done that before. And the only way to fix it is to cry yourself to sleep. So I don't want to do that this year. I'm going to be patient, wait for a good storm before I take this new sled in the trees. going to take one more snowstorm and then we can take this thing into the trees and really put it to the test in the technical terrain and I can't wait to show you what it can do so like and subscribe follow along it's gonna be a lot of fun this winter so for now here's some GoPro footage on the ride back to the truck mm -hmm.